hi and welcome back to my channel welcome to today's tutorial to make this bag you're going to need three colors of yarn you need the red color a black and a white color and for this tutorial i'm using a size 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so you start by making a magic ring Grab your yarn and you're going to chain one. Now you already have a chain one and you're going to work two more chains. So you have two, three. Your chain three doesn't count as a stitch. So for your round one, you're going to work 12 double crochet in your magic ring. one two three four five six double crochet so go ahead and work six more double crochet in your magic ring when you work a total of 12 double crochet in your magic ring you're going to pull and tighten your ring and you work a slip stitch on your chain three one two three one two three so this is chain three you work a slip stitch to begin your round two chain three one two three and now for your round two you're working two double crochet in each stitch one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet Two double crochet in each stitch work two double crochet to end your round two you work a slip stitch on your chain three And to begin your round three, chain three, one, two, three, and you work two double crochet in your next stitch. And for your round three, you're working one double crochet and, and two double crochet. So your two double crochet is considered an increase so you work one double crochet one increase one double crochet one increase To end your round three, you work a slip stitch on your chain three. And to begin your round four, chain three. And work two double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochet. And for your round four, you are working two double crochet one increase one double crochet two double crochet and now you work one increase
one double crochet two double crochet and you work one increase when you get to the end of your round four work a slip stitch on your chain three and to begin your round five chain three and work two double crochet in your next stitch and now you're going to work three double crochet one two three and then one increase one double crochet two double two double crochet three double crochet and then increase so you're going to keep repeating this pattern at each round the number of double crochet will increase so you repeat this pattern and work a total of nine rounds when you work a total of nine rounds so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine and your nine your nine round you should have one one two three four five six seven single crochet then your increase you work a slip stitch on your chain three and you chain one for your tenth round and you're going to work single crochet stitches you work a single crochet work a single crochet in your next stitch you work a single crochet so you are working single crochet around When you get to the end, you pull your working yarn up, cut your yarn, and you pull your working yarn, and you're going to use your yarn needle to, to close. Now you're going to go ahead and yarn in this other tail. When you're done, you're going to work another part of this. So you have two. Work two of this. When you have your two, you're now going to take your stitch marker and you're going to mark the part that is going to serve as your opening. So you put your first stitch marker so you count this is one two three four five six seven eight nine 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I have 23 and 24. Is it okay? 24 is fine. You put your stitch marker. So this is going to be your opening. If you want it smaller, you reduce. If you want it more, if you want the space to be more, you can add can increase the stitches so it's, this is 24 now we are going to work the part with um with the black yarn that you're going to put here so you take your black color of yarn and you're going to work you're going to start with a magic ring chain one you have two three chain it's not easy to see but you're going to try since i'm using a black yarn so now you're going to work six double crochet in your magic ring that's one double crochet two three four five six that's six double crochet now you're going to pull your tail and tighten your ring so this is what you're going to have so this is what you're going to have six double crochet that's your round one and to begin your round two you chain three one two three and you're going to turn your work in this year three double crochet stitch you're going to work one double crochet there so you have two double crochet in each stitch work two double crochet next stitch two double crochet So double crochet so double crochet and two double crochet in your last stitch And to begin your round three you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work and you're going to work one double crochet in your chain three stitch and now you work one double crochet and you work one increase in the next stitch you work one double crochet and one increase one double crochet one increase one double crochet one increase one double crochet
for an increase. And to begin your round four, chain three, and turn your work. You work one double crochet. Now you're going to work two double crochet. You work one double crochet, two double crochet. So double crochet now you work an increase so you are going to repeat this pattern to the end one double crochet two double crochet and one increase So when you get to the end this is how your work is going to look like it's not easy doing a tutorial with a black yarn because it's not easy for you to see but i hope you can follow through now to begin your round five so you're going to chain three one two three and you're going to flip your work And you work one double crochet in your chain three stitch you work one double crochet and now you're going to work three double crochet and one increase so you have one double crochet two double crochet you have you work three double crochet three double crochet and now you work one increase one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet and one increase and you're going to follow this pattern to the end at the end of your round five so you have one two three four five you're going to chain one you leave a tail and cut your yarn fasten your work and you're going to yarn this tail in And when you're done, you're going to bring in your your first part. This part is going to be your front part. It's going to be the front part of your back. And you're going to attach this to the, this part where you have your stitch marker already. You're going to attach it. Like that to your back. So... I'm going to use this pin to hold it together. And now you're going to use this tail you left. Now you attach it. You're going to sew it to your back. Next, you're going to put in this tail into your yarn needle. Now you're going to attach this, the two sides. You're going to go around.
so the next thing you're going to do is to go you are going to sew a line through this part and now you're going to look at this this is your middle this part this black part that you put here this is your middle here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a line while i'm working to keep to um no uh, for my stitch to be straight and to have a straight line as well you can use a ruler so this is the middle part and i'm going to draw a straight line with my pencil it's actually not visible i don't think you can see the line on the camera but it's going to help where when you are working so your, your line is going to be straight i think you can see just a little line there straight yeah next you're going to take your black color yarn and you're going to work a slip knot and you're going to pass this under I do not go through with this joining. You can choose to do this line before attaching this black, uh, this part. It's okay. So I did not go through. I still have to finish this part because I have to start from this stitch under. So you're going to put your hook through and you're going to grab a yarn. And okay, now you're going to be working slip stitches. So you, this is this line you're going to be working in this stitch you can see the stitch here this is where you're going to be working so you're going to put your hook through the next stitch and you're going to grab your working yarn and pull and you're going to work a slip stitch I am just this part is entangling. Yes, I have to do that again. So I'm going to work a slip stitch. Okay. So you're going to go to the next stitch, grab your yarn, and you work a slip stitch now the next stitch grab your yarn and you work a slip stitch so you're going to follow the line the line you you draw and you work a slip stitch grab your yarn and you're going to work a slip stitch so you can see so you are going to keep working a slip stitch to the end. When you reach the end, you are going to work your slip stitch and now you are going to cut your yarn and pull your working yarn up. So I'm going to complete this part. Next, the next thing you're going to work is the side of the back and the handle. And for that, you're going to use your black color yarn. And you're going to leave a tail and work a slip knot. 
and chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you're going to turn your work and you'll be working on the back loop of the chain. So this is a bump here, this bump, and this is another bump. So you're going to skip the last chain on the hook and the second chain. And using this back loop or this back bump, you're going to work single crochet stitches. So you work single crochet at this one. The next, you work a single crochet to three four five six seven and eight single crochet so you shall have eight single crochet at the end next you're going to chain one and flip your work turn your work and you work single crochet stitches one two three four five six seven eight single crochet and chain one and Flip your work and you continue working single crochet stitches. So you keep repeating the pattern, you work single crochet stitches. So you're going to work a total of going to measure okay. 125 centimeters for your back strap and now you're going to chain one and you're going to leave a tail and cut your yarn Next, you're going to take your next side, the other side. You're going to adjust your work. Once you have adjusted your work, you have your front part and have, you have the front part and the back part. You're going to take this, your side and uh, the corner and you're going to attach it first to the front part so you're going to come to where you have your stitch marker your first stitch marker so you're going to attach this your side and your back handle to this front part first so you'll be attaching it so you're going to take your yarn needle
and you're going to attach both So keep joining round. When you get to your second stitch marker, you're going to end. And you're going to yarn in your tail. next this tail you left here you're just you're going to use your yarn needle and walk it through and then yarn in the tail and cut it so the next thing you're going to do you're going to take your second part and attach it to this is how you're going to work it so you're going to take your second part and you count your 24 stitches here and now attach it to the side and the back handle the same way so i've Put my stitch marker this is going to be my first my starting point and I'll count the 24 stitches and I'll put the second stitch marker on this second side and you're going to be attaching it on the wrong side as well same way you are going to take your first stitch marker and you're going to start attaching it this is the right side so you see this is the wrong side the wrong side so you're going to continue attaching the second side also round next you're going to turn your back inside out and now you're going to join the two ends of this back handle so you're going to take this side this end, I am going to attach it to this end. Same way. So next, after you attach your back handle, this side, you're going to work these dots. And then this eye part, all of them is the same pattern. So you work this dot part with the black yarn and then this white, this white eye part with your white yarn. So you're going to work a magic ring. This 
to chain one now you work six single crochets one two three four five and six single crochet you pull and tighten your ring and now work a slip stitch on your first stitch work a slip stitch you chain one and work two double crochet uh, two single crochet in that same stitch one single crochet and two single crochet so you continue working two single crochet in each stitch two single crochet Two single crochet in each stitch When you get to the end you work a slip stitch on your first stitch chain one leave it till cut your yarn and you yarn in your tail next you're going to take and now you're going to place so you have two so you're going to make two you're going to place now for this the small eyeball part you're going to make a magic ring and work six single crochet and now you're going to glue you're going to use glue to glue everything and when you glue when you're done this is how your back is going to look like you can add a clipper here for your opening and closing but this one i'm going to just leave it like that so this is it for your back this is how your back is going to look like so this is it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you found this tutorial helpful please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel thank you for subscribing and if you are already my existing subscriber, thank you. I will see you in my next video. Bye.